Welcome back to part nine. We're going to work in any of the chain two corner spaces from last round using color B. We are going to work two half double crochet. Chain two and two more half double crochet into that same chain space. <clears throat> We're going to work in each of the 168 stitches down the side, including the first one. So we'll place a half double crochet in each stitch. 168 half double crochets down the side, and then in each corner, two double or sorry, two half double chain two, two half double crochet, joining to our starting stitch and finishing off at the end of the round. Round 74, we're using color A. We're going to start in any of the chain two corner spaces with a double crochet. And this double crochet is the new corner stitch. We'll chain one. We're going to make a double crochet two together. So we yarn over, insert back in that same corner space to pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Then yarn over again <clears throat> we're going to skip this first half double crochet and insert in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over, pull through all three for a double crochet two together. Chain one. So we're going to be making double crochet two together all the way down the side. So yarn over, We the first part of the double crochet goes into the same stitch that we just used. Skip a stitch and into the next stitch. Chain one. We'll continue all the way down the row in that way. So yarn over, insert in the same stitch to pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, skip a stitch, insert in the next, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, chain one. <clears throat> so we've worked one, two, three of these double crochet two togethers. We will do that. So not including this first one, we've made two double crochet two together. We want a total of 85 and I'll meet you just before the next corner. So 85 of those double crochet two togethers, that last leg or part of the last one is in that last stitch before the corner. Then to work over the corner, we're going to make another double crochet two together starting in that same stitch, that last stitch, and then in the corner space chain one and then we're ready to start again with that double crochet which becomes the new corner stitch chain one double crochet two together in the corner space skipping the first stitch and then in the next stitch and then ready to work our 85 double crochet two together so you can go ahead working this all the way around joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. Round 75 using color F, we're going to be just working in those chain one spaces. We're going to start in the first space just past any corner double crochet and we'll place two single crochet in that chain space and we'll continue that all the way around two single crochet in each chain one space around so it will be um, 87 chain one spaces where we make these two single crochet uh, plus this first one so that'll be 88 spaces with those two single crochet 
and then we'll chain one once you get to the next corner and you work in this chain space you'll chain one and skip the double crochet that chain one is the new corner Round 76 using color A again. We're going to start in one of those corner chain one spaces that's above that double crochet. We'll place a double crochet in that chain one space, chain one and double crochet. So this chain one we just made is our new corner. Then we'll chain one we're working those double crochet two together stitches again this round. So we will yarn over for the first one. We'll insert back in that corner space to pull up our loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And then we're going to work in between these pairs of single crochet. So skip those two and in the space before the next one. Now we need to be careful that we don't just work under the top loops of that first single crochet. We want to make sure that we're under the loop that's sort of lower. If I turn to the back, you can see that lower loop here. We want to make sure we've gone under that as well. <clears throat> pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. Chain one. So into that same space as our last double crochet two together for the first part. Working between the groups of two single crochet, making sure we go under that back loop. Chain one. So we'll continue to work these double crochet two togethers, um, not including the one that started in the corner. There's 86 of these. So in that same space and then between the next two groups of two single crochet and chain one in between. So I'll let you work those down the side. When you finish the row, you want to end with one more double crochet two together. So make the first part in that last space between the last two groups of single crochet and the second part in the corner chain one and then ready to start again with the double crochet chain one double crochet in the corner space and repeat all the way around. Round 77 using color B. Again we'll start in a corner chain one space. We will place two half double crochet in that space. Chain two and two more half double crochet in that same corner space. We're going to be working in these chain one spaces. So starting with the first one past that next double crochet and before that double crochet two together, we'll place two half double crochet. So working down the side in the chain one spaces only two half double crochet. And there should be 89 of these groups of two. Then when you get to the next corner, two half, chain two, two half double crochet. Working that all the way around and joining to our starting stitch before fastening off. Round 78, we're using color C. We'll start in any of the chain two corner spaces. We will place two half double crochet in that corner space, chain one, and two more half double crochet to form our new corner. 
we're going to skip these first two half double crochet. We'll half double crochet or place two half double crochet in that next stitch. Skip one stitch, two half double crochet in the next. And we'll continue that all the way down the side. Skip a stitch, two half double crochet in the next. So that should be 90 times. And then when we get to the corners, the two half double crochet, chain one, two half double crochet. Remembering to skip the first two of each side. So you can go ahead, work that all the way around, joining to our starting stitch and fastening off at the end of the round. Round 79 using color D, again starting in any of the corner spaces. We are going to make a cluster two trebles. So it's like a standing treble, yarn over twice, insert, pull up our loop, yarn over, pull through two just twice, leaving two loops on the hook. Yarn over twice again, insert to pull up your loop, yarn over, pull through two, should have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops for our two treble cluster, which is the new corner. We'll chain one. <clears throat> we want to skip this first half double crochet. We'll make a two treble cluster in the next stitch. So that's two part trebles. and then pull through all three at the end, chain one, skip the next stitch. So we're going to do that a total of 91 times down the side, these two treble clusters, chain one, skip a stitch. So you can go ahead and work that all the way around. It will feel a little bit tight around the corners and that's okay, it will work itself out as we continue to work further rounds. So when you work down towards the corner, <clears throat> you will have a treble cluster in that last stitch before the corner space and making your corner cluster. Round 80 using color B. This is the final round for this part. We want to start by working in the corner. So we find that corner treble cluster. We're going to work in the space between the two legs of that cluster, <clears throat> making sure that we go under that sort of extra loop single crochet, chain two, single crochet between the legs of that corner treble cluster. So we're going to make a half double crochet down into the corner space of round <clears throat> 78. And we're also going to work over the chain one space of round 79. So we'll insert our hook past the treble cluster that's there around both of those chains, pull up our loop and finish a half double crochet. And as you can see, it causes these treble clusters to sort of fold or buckle. So on round 78, we're gonna skip this half double crochet We'll single crochet in the next cluster space, so that's between those two legs of that cluster. Single crochet. And then coming down, working into that skipped stitch of 78 and working over top of the chain one between the clusters, we'll place another half double crochet. Okay, and you can do this as you work, sort of pull those treble clusters to the front, 
or once we're done the round, we'll just make sure that they're laying nicely to the front, causing kind of a little bobble or a folded treble look. <clears throat> and we'll do that 91 times down the side. So single crochet between the legs of the treble cluster. Half double crochet in that skipped stitch of 78, working over the chain one of 79. Single crochet between the legs of the cluster, half double crochet in the skipped half double crochet. Okay, so that will be worked 91 times down the side and I'll meet you at the next corner. Just a tip as you're working these half double crochet to make sure that you snug that drawn up loop just a little bit tighter so it really snugs these treble into that bobble shape. So once you've come to um, the next corner, we'll place that single crochet in that last treble cluster between the two legs, half double crochet around the chain one space, but down into this corner before the treble cluster already there. And then we would start again in between the legs of that treble cluster with that single crochet. There we go. Single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And then we'd work that half double crochet on the other side of the cluster in that corner space and over the chain one. Okay, and then if you wish, um, so we will work this all the way around then joining to our starting stitch, but do not fasten off. You can take a larger hook to pull all these trebles to the front. If you wish, most of mine work with just sort of poking them from behind with my finger so that those treble clusters pull out. But however you wish that those make that sort of folded over bobble look, you can go ahead and do that once you've worked your way around. <clears throat> 